show you today how to use Shopify to create free shipping for your customers. Uh, and everything I'm going to show you today is the default Shopify. It's not using any special app. It's what's built in and easy to set up. I'm going to show you how to do it. So in this case, what I want to do for today on my test site is I want to create a free shipping over $50. So for example, if uh, the amount in the shopping cart is under $50, let's say 30, for example, I might want to charge, let's say $5, but anything above that, I'm going to charge 50. So I'm going to show you the basic concepts of it. Okay. So what I do is I log into my back end right here and I'm going to go to my settings and I'm going to go to the shipping section, right? I'm managing the shipping rates. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my setup. So every store every business has a slightly different setup but i'm going to try to simplify it first of all so if you have a very basic store for example you only sell in us or only sell in us and canada typically you're going to have a general rates you're going to use the general rates to set up your actual rates if you have more complicated thing like custom shipping uh, for specific products or you have multiple uh, locations or other things like that you might have some more here but I'm gonna skip that for today because it's a little more advanced and in the future I will make videos for it so what do we do right here what we're gonna do is go to the general shipping rates click on manage rates and now what I'm gonna do is uh, th this section is for custom products so we're not gonna do this now we're gonna go here and look at our actual zone okay so we have in this case this uh, under the shipping rates, there's a zone. So I have a domestic US only zone and I have a rest of the world zone, okay? But here I didn't enable it. So let's assume you only have one zone, which is shipping to a certain country, right? So US in this case. So inside, when I go here, I have all of the shipping rates that I actually set up. And if you notice, I have a standard shipping rate to to this zone and if it's above $50 I have it for free this is exactly how I set it up okay so let's assume we don't have this I'm gonna delete this for a second and now um, rates are set up in default Shopify based on two two different things number one either you can set up your own rates what we call flat rates right uh, for example if you're if someone orders $20 then it's a flat rate of $5 or you can use the carrier calculated rates so if you connect for example with let's say DHL or USPS then you can have them actually calculate the rates but the rates will never be free right so if you wanted to go free shipping you're gonna have to set up your own rates and you're gonna call this for example free free shipping okay you're gonna name this and you're gonna make it zero if you put 0, 0.00 it'll tell you it's free right here if I put one it's not free and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna specify the condition now if you want the whole site to be free, which is not the case of this, because if it's under $50 free, you would basically have no conditions. It always applies. But if you want in this case, you would click on add conditions and you have two different types, either based on the weight. So for example, if the minimum weight is let's say 10, let's say hundred pounds and the maximum, you can, you don't have to put the maximum, but you can. So I'm going to say anything above hundred pounds is free, or I can use the price in this case. Anything that's above $50 with no maximum is going to be free. So if I click on that, now I have my free shipping. And if I go ahead and I save it, now I have my free shipping. Okay, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to go and let's find the product that's, a, that's above $50. Okay, let, let's show you this first of all. So let's find a product that's below $50. So if I add this to my cart and I view the, the cart, Okay, and I check out. I'm going to go to where I can see the shipping rates. Okay, so I'm going to just go here and proceed to next steps. And obviously, because of the zone, it'll have to know which country I'm in, right? So I'm going to proceed to the next step. Okay, and this is my ship to. So now that it knows my ship to, it'll calculate the shipping rates. Okay, and obviously, they're standard and expedited. And why is there standard and expedited? because of these standard and expedited right here you'll be able to see 490 and 690 okay here it is here's a 490 and here is a 690 okay so um, now if I want to create the free shipping let's go ahead here and right here I have my $50 let's go ahead here and I'm gonna go back and I'm going to let's say I'm going to add 20 of these okay So now if I add 20, it's above $50, right? 
And if I go back, I'm going to have a free shipping. That's it. You see free shipping. I can continue. Shipping is free. So hope this makes sense. It's really, really simple. If you want more advanced things, uh, you'd have to have more apps. But the simple, simple summary of this is you can go to your zone, manage rates, go to your zone. And in the actual shipping zone itself, you can create either based on a minimum amount or a specific amount, minimum to maximum, or on based on weight. Now, if you do select weight, you need to make sure that your products, when you actually manage them, they actually have the weight uh, field, the weight attribute, right? So let's go here. Just one more thing before I finish the video. And I'm going to go down right here. And this is an actual variant, so I'm actually going to edit this. And you'll be able to see right here that we have our, where is this? Right here, our weight. So if I didn't fill it out, no one's going to get free shipping, right? Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Looking forward for you to watch our videos for me to create more. Uh, and if you have any questions, uh, appreciate it. Thanks.